Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about type 5 hypersensitivities. Um, before we get started, I want to remind you that you can get free study notes by going to the tiny URL that you see in the description below. Uh, that is going to include a PDF, a free PDF of the final board with all the notes on it. So be sure you check that out for study purposes and remember to subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started. So type five, remember that V right there is the Roman numeral five. So type five hypersensitivity. And you might already be thinking, hey, whoa, stop, what? Because there's only four types of hypersensitivity, right? Well, most of the time that's what we see. And it's actually a little difficult to find information on type five hypersensitivities. And that's because what some people classify as a type 5 hypersensitivity is actually generally classified in most, um, in most resources as just a subset of type 2 hypersensitivity. And so that's why if you go and look at, say, the Wikipedia page or um, various textbooks, you, there's a good chance you're just going to see four types of hypersensitivities listed. But I'm going to use this video to tell you the distinction between type 5 and type 2 and why um, some experts do have type 5 as like a, a hypersensitivity classification on its own. But really quick, let's just review what the type 2 hypersensitivity is. That is where you have antibodies. Remember, another name for antibodies is immunoglobulins. So you have IgG, that's immunoglobulin G, or IgM, that's immunoglobulin M. So IgG or IgM, these are antibodies, attack cellular surface antigens. So this is just some antigenic component on the surface of a cell, and this leads to some kind of cellular damage or outright cellular destruction. So that's the hallmark of the type 2 hypersensitivity. And so this is known for its cytotoxic or cytotoxicity effects where it is toxic, meaning damage or destruction to the cell. Remember, prefix cyto means cell. So what is type 5? Type 5 hypersensitivity is when you have one of those same types of antibodies, IgG or IgM, target <coughs> not simply any surface antigen, but target a hormone receptor on a hormone producing cell. So whereas type two is looking at really any type of cell and antibodies attacking any surface antigen, type five is more specific. We're looking at hormone producing cells and specifically these antibodies targeting a hormone receptor on that hormone producing cell. Now an example of this is Graves' disease. So this is where antibodies will stimulate the actual receptor. So that's their target. They will, they will stimulate the thyroid stimulating hormone receptor leading to an overactive thyroid. Now, if you go to most textbooks, or Wikipedia, for example, you'll actually see Graves' disease given as an example of a type 2 hypersensitivity. So I want you to be beware of that if you see it in both places. But in some situations, I think it's a little bit more prevalent, like over in Great Britain, um, you might see type 5 being not a subset of type 2, but being its own classification of hypersensitivity. Um, I also want to point out one more thing, you know, whereas type 2 is associated with this cytotoxic effect, certainly an overactive thyroid is not a good thing, but it's not necessarily resulting in a lot of cellular destruction, which is another reason why this might be set aside as a separate type of hypersensitivity. Now, I have another very popular video where I review all four of those classical types of hypersensitivities, so type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, comparing and contrasting them, so make sure you check that one out. And then we've talked about antibodies a lot in this video, these IgG and IgM antibodies. So if you want to learn a little bit more about antibodies and their structure and their function, then I've also got a video on that. 
Make sure you remember to subscribe. Check out that link below for free study notes for a picture of the final board in PDF form. And I will see you next time. Good luck with your studying and bye for now.